So here we have the Nissan Juke on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further and that tray section removes to give you even more space again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. Uh, we have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 48,669. We also have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge over there as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have phone and stereo controls over on this left-hand side. On the right-hand side, cruise control and speed limiter. And then in the center, the main touchscreen for the car, which, as you can see, includes satellite navigation. A really nice clear color display, it's very easy to use. You've got the buttons just here and then it all becomes touchscreen after that anyway. Uh, to pair your phone, hit the phone button, hit connect down the bottom right hand corner and then you would pair a new device. When it comes to music in this car, we have AM, DAB and FM radio. We've also got a CD player, which you can see just there, auxiliary input and Bluetooth audio so we can stream our music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. This car also has a full color reversing camera as you can see below that we have this screen which doubles up as two things so uh, the driver mode screen so you can change from normal to sport or eco whichever mode you put it in you are affecting the engine the steering and the climate control for the car and it's also the climate control menu so now that we're on that menu you can affect the fan speed temperature direction the air is being distributed in and you can turn your air conditioning on off of course you can turn the whole system off from here if you wish to if you push this button in you'll put it onto auto the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you any manual adjustment will override auto straight away and allow you to put it back on your own manual setting we have a 12 volt charging socket usb and auxiliary inputs just there and our six speed manual gearbox all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.